Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Curtis Pike and today I'm going to show you how to do a lens flare. But I'm going to show you how to do one the right way. The way that most people do lens flares in Adobe Premiere Pro is actually not the best way. And I'm not trying to be negative or put people's down, but I just want to show you a second better way to do it. So let's look at the regular way. The, the usual way I see people do it is you go in here and you type in lens flare and you'll generate a lens flare right here. You'll see the effect and you drop it onto your clip just like this and presto there is the lens flare right in the middle and of course you can go ahead and adjust where you want it so if you want the light to come from say this side fine if you think the light source is up higher and that's how the flare looks to you that's also okay and of course you can change the different types of flare from the 35 millimeter to 105 etc etc that's not really the point though um, the, the reason why this isn't as good is because you can't really make any more changes other than um, these limited changes that I've made here. So I'm going to show you another way to do it. I'll delete that and instead we're going to go to the project, go to the project over here, go down to the bottom here, create a new item and in this one we're going to create what's called a black video. Now this just creates dummy footage and this dummy footage is I guess what is it comes with five seconds long by default so I'm gonna go ahead and make it the length of the composition underneath it so now we've got a black video which has nothing except black on it and the film video underneath now what I can do here with the lens flare is I'm gonna drop the lens flare onto the newly created black video and watch this presto now we're working on the lens flare, but in this, with the black video, pardon me, you can go ahead and manipulate the lens flare, lens flare <coughs> and um, see exactly what you're doing against a black background. So that's the first advantage. So let's say we want a lens flare to look something like that. We want it to be a pretty bright, bright flare. And we want it to be, let's say, 35 millimeter great and wonderful um, the second thing I should notice I mentioned before we keep going is you can easily adjust the length of the flare so if you want the flare to come in at say this point right here presto there it goes in the old version you would actually have to cut the um, underlying video and then apply it to the exact snippet segment that you want it to so this is a little bit of a time saver but the real advantage is is over here when you go to the black video here you can then go ahead and adjust the blending mode and blending mode in Adobe Premiere Pro is awesome you can go ahead and adjust them so if um, you want to lighten the video because we want to use these ones here lighten screen color dodge uh, we want to get rid of the black but keep the color so we could try it with light let's see what that looks like that looks pretty good I actually kinda like that one screen if you want that kinda look if you want to go with a really uh, abrasive look, a color dodge, um, flare, that doesn't look quite right. Never mind. And lighter color, which is actually not too bad either. But uh, I'm going to go back to screen. I kind of like screen. And there you go, guys. So we've added in the color dodge, or pardon me, we've added in the um, lens effect to the black video. And the other advantage is, is if you want to put a tint on this type of uh, lens flare, let's just go ahead and add a tint and maybe we'll tint it to red I don't know oh whoa never mind um, but you can go ahead and add in subtle tints you can add in uh, color correction to this dummy layer here and you can make it pretty much a perfect lens flare as opposed to just adding it right to the clip so anyways there's just a short tip for you guys this is your friend Curtis and I will have some more uh, videos for you shortly thanks for watching cheers